What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showcasing my system setup, more specifically my laptop setup. And what you're seeing right now is certainly quite different from what I'm used to. But I figured, you know, everyone has a different type of workflow, different type of setup. Uh, and so that's why I might actually even um, make more videos about this in the future, kind of showcasing uh, different setups. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, are the themes, you know, why I chose the themes that I did, um, and also why I chose to kind of set everything up to look like this. So, um, but yeah, so I'm using Manjaro KDE, and if we take a look at the settings here, um, so for the workspace theme, I don't really have anything. Um, I didn't un I didn't install any specific theme here for the look and feel, um, but for the plasma theme, I use Breeze Alpha Black. Now, you can't really see it right now, and maybe that's why it would be better if I changed the wallpaper to something more vibrant. But as you can see, the panel at the top is transparent, and I do have blur enabled. So if you hover something over here, you can see that it's kind of blurred out. Um, but I wanted to make it completely transparent so that it kind of uh, fades in with the wallpaper. And depending on the wallpaper, it's more or less noticeable. Uh, with this one, it's not too notice noticeable, but with some, it, it is kind of noticeable. But that's why I kind of try to avoid those types of wallpapers. Uh, but if we see the alpha black control, this is why this is one of my favorite themes is because it's so flexible. Um, so in terms of opacity and transparency, you can um, adjust multiple stuff. You can adjust the panel itself. You can adjust the pop-up windows, like kind of like what you're seeing right now, actually. And on top of that, you can also adjust the colors. I just decided to stick with the defaults, but uh, that's a really cool thing is if that like if you're trying to go with a specific theme like black and red or black and green or whatever uh, you can choose to change the colors to whatever you want so um, that's my reasoning behind that and um, and another thing is is that if it's if it's transparent here it's just not as noticeable it's not as uh, kind of in the way so that's why I decided to choose that. And then for the cursor themes, um, my favorite ones are the Pixel Fun 3. So the light and the dark variant. So you can see both. I think that they look pretty nice. Um, if I'm going with a light theme, I just choose the light cursor theme. But if I'm going with a dark theme, uh, I can have this one. So I what I really like about it is that it's just, it's compact, it's simple, it looks very nice. So. Um, for splash screen, I don't use anything. For the colors, I use the adapt to color theme. Uh, I really like the adapt to theme because it just, you know, it kind of fits with the whole uh, kind of keep it simple theme. And also it's highlighted blue color is very nice. It's a very nice light blue. And if you see the dark variant, you know, it looks nice as well. But of course, you know, I just decided to use the light theme. Uh, for fonts, I didn't install any fonts, I didn't mess with the fonts, so I'm using the defaults. Now for KDE, uh, because I'm using KDE, I decided to use the Corla theme. I would try something else, I would try a different icon theme, but sometimes with KDE when I try to uh, get new icons from here and when I try to install them, not always do they work. I try to apply them. Um, sometimes they do work, but only half of the icons uh, and it would just get really messy, but the Corla icon theme is very nice. Um, it kind of has like a Mac look to it, especially the settings here, uh, but it's a mix of different types of icons, so it's kind of its own thing. Um, but I do think it's nice, and I really like the folders especially. The folders look very nice. It kind of fits with the theme as well. Uh, for widget style, of course, I use Breeze so that I can make use of the transparency. And also, if I open up the terminal, um, I choose not to. Oops, I choose not to make the terminal too transparent uh, or too blurry because it kind of uh, distracts you. 
well at least for me it's distracting um, but yeah I also use for the title bars I use the adapter theme um, and now for the button layout for the title bar now normally I'm used to putting the uh, buttons right here at, to the right um, but the reason why I decided to put them to the left is because when I when I go to like a full screen application uh, as you can see the title bar fits just right in and because I have the system tray right here to the right it kind of gets in the way so of course I just decided to put it to the left this kind of like unity um, and I do realize that I could go with a full um, panel here and um, there's a widget that kind of lets you do that lets you put the uh, title bars in the panel once it goes in full screen but the reason why I decided not to do that is because well first of all I figured I don't really need a full panel and second um, even though it's good it I don't really like the way the um, I don't like the way that these buttons are displayed they kind of um, seem kind of uh, out of proportion and I've, I've tried it out I personally don't like it and also what I could have done was I, I figured I could keep these buttons to the right but also put the uh, system tray to the left uh, but it, it just it, it it didn't really fit I'm used to having my system tray to the right um, for the gnome slash gdk applications uh, well I try to use I forgot to change this but I try to use as much as um, the same types of themes as possible that I use so the so I, I chose the same cursor theme uh, and also I installed the uh, same adapt the theme for the GDK applications and um, for desktop behavior so of course KD has some nice effects I decided to enable blur because it looks very nice I have it um, on its default settings here one thing that I did turn off is translucency so basically what this is is when you move the windows it kind of becomes um, actually let me enable it and show you it kind of becomes slightly transparent I don't really like that I think it's kind of distracting so that's what I turned off uh, but I did turn on wobbly windows and this kind of can be distracting but it's not that bad I think it looks pretty nice so so those are that's that for the effects so that's basically it in terms of theming and whatnot um, I like everything because it just looks flat and simple and um, you know I think that all of the themes complement each other now when it comes to the desktop itself as you can see I have the panel right here and here at the bottom I have the latte dock actually and so when it comes to this again it's pretty transparent I also decided not to make the icons too big because that gets kind of out in the way uh, and also if they're too small well it's not as convenient to access them um, also I kind of wanted to make the uh, the applications kind of uh, um, like the distance between them I decided to make them a bit further apart because they're usually very close by default and when it comes to animations you know kind of ha have the um, zoom in animation but I decided not to make it too much um, so I really like this you know my reasoning behind this is well a lot of laptops these days do have the um, bigger resolutions and whatnot but because mine has uh, a smaller resolution it's just I don't have as much vertical screen space and so I've tried actually even having the panel here at the left uh, but that just it, it's not as convenient so what I really like is you know my reasoning is that I'm not going to I'm not going to always be accessing and t looking at my applications here um, and if, if I really want to maneuver around my applications I can really just um, you know use keyboard shortcuts to do that but essentially the main thing about this is that the applications hide 
when I'm in full screen mode and I can always access them really quickly it's very responsive um, and again when it comes to the system tray that's really all I need uh, when it comes to the panel I really like taking a look at the the time that's very helpful that's very useful to me again because I'm on a laptop the battery also matters um, and so you know it, it's very convenient just having it at the top here now the only thing that kind of gets in the way is um, I haven't really figured out a solution yet but it's essentially the more icons there are here uh, let's also open up VLC for example um, the more icons there are here like the more the further it goes to the right and it kind of starts overlaying um, the settings here and so that's kind of one of the few things that I don't like about this but um, I usually don't have that many icons to begin with at the top so yeah but also um, there's also empty space here when I start up the uh, computer the system so that's another thing that I don't really like but again you know like as you can see it does look for the most part um, pretty transparent the blur doesn't really get in the way depending on the wallpaper like for this wallpaper it, you can't really even see the blur at all now for this one it is more noticeable but again I think it looks nice I don't think it's uh, intrusive or anything like that and in this one it, you can't really even see the blur effects to begin with but but yeah that was basically it um, I'm going to try to make kind of these types of videos in the future maybe um, but maybe I'm, I, I might change around the formula a little, a little bit maybe kind of make it a bit more interesting uh, but yeah this was my setup uh, let me know what you think in the comments and yeah thanks for watching